What's up everybody? Welcome back to Diesel Creek. My name's Matt. Everybody knows that I have at least two favorite times a year. One of those Richie Brothers auction time, which has already kind of come and gone. The other time is the National Pike Steam Show in Brownsville, Pennsylvania. And that is where we are headed today. We got the Cat D8 that I want to haul up there, so I got to take the blade off that and load it out. And then we got to get the Bucyrus Erie 22B shovel hopefully loaded out as well. And I'm about to pull the Jeep CJ5 out. We're going to throw it on the trailer as well as the Junkyard Golf Cart, which I don't think you guys have seen in like three or four years. So should be a good time. I'm excited. I can tell you guys are excited. Let's get to it. All right. The 8 has proven herself worthy of the trip up to Brownsville. We're going to go ahead and knock the blade off this thing, get it loaded up, and then throw the 8 on the trailer. That's convenient. It's steam show weekend, so in keeping with an antique theme, what better way to load the blade off the D8 than with a shovel?
Matt, are these shiny safety chains with a tag? Certified, baby. Is everything okay? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I just leave that right on the tooth. What could go wrong? Oh yeah. Ocean Will it not go on there the right way? Probably not. Negatory. They won't right. go on there anyway. Oh yeah. That's how they're meant to lift. Oh sure. Come with me and you'll see a world of OSHA violations. That'll do, pig. Well, I guess that went about as well as could be expected for somebody that's barely ever ran a shovel before. Sam's awful brave letting me uh, do that while he handled the blade. Probably should have had him in the seat. But it didn't tear anything up, so that's good. We'll get that blade chained down. we got to load up the shovel now. There's the mule pulling the wagon right there. That's... Old Scrappy Industries, beautiful Max Superliner. Looks like he's disconnecting right now. I'm gonna walk the 22B over here, get her loaded up.
we got the old 22B loaded down. Sam's just about to head out. Take this guy to the show for me. Last time the Superliner appeared in one of my videos, most people said it sounded good, but there was a few people that thought it was missing. That's just the way those V8 Max sound. That's an E9 in that truck. And uh, she's making some power, and that's just the way they sound. While he's hauling that thing, we've got other things to do. We need to improvise a track tensioner on the D8 there. Yeah, that, that tracks. <laughs> just a touch too loose there. We need to fix that. All right, so to tighten up this track, what normally happens is there's a basically a big grease piston in there which pushes against the spring to absorb any shock loads. So we're kind of going to have to bypass the spring the way we're going to do this, um, which sucks. It's not ideal, but it's not like I'm going out and opening up a new strip mine with this thing. Anyways, I'm... I wedged this pin in here so we have something to push against and I'm going to try to use the enter pack to shove the idler forward. Well we might not even need that pin that I put in there. I found a different cylinder I didn't know I had. So this should work. I'm starting to pump now. Oh yeah, she's going. We got her pretty nice and tight there. That's actually probably a little too tight, but I figure we'll hold it there, take our measurement and everything for our shim, because by the time we put a shim in and let the pressure off, it's probably going to slack off a little bit. We cut those pieces of metal, and the idea here is that they should sit down around this shaft, and they're going to catch this uh, plate down here. I could probably just get away with one, but I'm going to use two, and then I'm going to throw uh, hose clamps, big stainless steel hose clamps around these, and hold them in place so that they can't come out while we're operating. Alright, I'm going to take a page from Watch West Works book here and tell you this is, uh, this is janky, but it's only temporary unless it works. I threw these, I threw hose clamps around this at first, hold these angle iron up in place, uh, but then I thought, you know, there's going to be some pressure on those potentially. So I scrounged up a uh, exhaust clamp there and kind of, you know, made it work. It's not real pretty. And then the piece of cable was just something I had laying around that I knew would kind of collapse and give a little bit and what that's doing is instead of kind of pushing on itself it's pushing on the the shaft in here to draw those things up tight anyway let's fire the 8 up and uh, run it back and forth and see what the track looks like
worked out just about perfectly. And just like I said, I, I cut that thing pretty much as tight as I could get it. And then by the time you let the pressure off and everything and it really takes up the slack, you still have a little bit of a slack in the top of the track. And that's, that's still a little bit loose, but it's really close to where you'd want it. Yeah, this side over here could actually use a few more pumps of grease as well. But not bad at all. We can run it. Just waiting on Sam to get back with the low boy now. Well, the D8 is rough on driveways. The wife wants to know why we can't ever have concrete or blacktop on this driveway. D8s, that's why. Got the D8 loaded up, flagged out, chained down, ready to hit the road.
Another D8 made it. Got to get a couple more chains off. Sam's about to take the trailer off. Beautiful. Now we got the D8 parked up here. Somebody did a poor job on slacking the cables off there, namely me. This is Sam's 977, he picked up a little while back. We're gonna be testing both of these things out this weekend. I'm pretty excited about it. Now we got the D8 parked up here. Somebody did a poor job on slacking the cables off there, namely me. This is Sam's 977, he picked up a little while back. We're gonna be testing both of these things out this weekend. I'm pretty excited about it, but. Night shift engage. <laughs> well, we're up here at the National Pike Steam Show. We made it. I unloaded all the stuff earlier. We started playing around with things. Looks like the D8 got another fuel blockage, so I gotta track that down. Buddy Sam from Scrappy Industries is here. His Bay City there has some sort of rod knock, we think, so he's gonna be ripping into that and trying to diagnose that tonight. I'm gonna do a little bit of finish grading with his beautifully restored TD15 here. And uh, Frank, 73 Diamond Rio, he's floating around here somewhere. So we're going to be busy. Lots to do.
beautiful. Well, we're up here a few rainy days after the show is over. Unfortunately, I was so swamped getting to talk to you fellers up here that I uh, really didn't have time to record anything, but I had a great time. We tore up every piece of equipment we had up here, so we've got lots of things to work on. Even the camper lost a wheel bearing on the way up here, but we just fixed that. So, yeah, if you guys haven't made it out to Brownsville, I highly recommend it. Well, we got the Jeep loaded and the old scrapyard golf cart there. I believe we are a go for takeoff. Anyways, guys, I guess that wraps up another one. I'm all excited for another fun weekend here at the Steam Show. If you guys haven't been out to the Brownsville Steam Show, I'll leave a link in the description to their website. You can catch all the details. You're probably going to see this video a little bit too late to make it to this one, but there will be more in the future, and I am always here. I never miss a Steam Show. So if you'd like to pick up some merch, head on over to dieselcreek.com. Link to that is also down in the description. I think we've got some new hats available now on the website. Really excited about these. I love these new hats. But that's all I've got. So, but, that lot, but that's all I've got this round, guys. So until the next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.